Our next act has already travelled miles to chase her dream. It's 23-year-old Belfast girl, Leah McFall. First started singing when I was four, and it probably sounded awful, but I thought it was great. <laughs> Leah is a great wee daughter, always interested in music. Even in the car seat, she'd been calling out, put Mickey Jackson on. So obviously she was a fan of Michael Jackson. I always knew I was going to do singing as a career. did my first solo when I was six in my church. I did various competitions growing up. And when I was 20, I decided that I wanted to be in London for singing. She's left a huge hole in our lives, not living at home in Northern Ireland anymore. The fact that she's doing something that she really wants to do oh is just fantastic. And of course I get trips over to see her. Oh. We make good use of the time that we do have shopping together. I think fashion's important when you're a musician and an artist, they go hands in hand. Everything she buys smells of mothballs, I have to say, but I like her style. You like I've seen worse. <laughs> To see her develop her music and her singing style has just filled me with pride throughout the years. She's worked so hard and now to enter this I'm just really excited for her. I think by the time I'm walking up there and handed the mic and I know I'm about to go on stage in front of, you know, four obviously mega stars really, um, I'll probably be looking at the exit door thinking that's a beautiful big door. But I'll not. I'll go on stage, I'll do it. I liked how you started slow. You showed your highs, you showed your lows, and it flowed. You had a, a lot of style and class and soul. Um, you write the song? No. <laughs> Every part of that rhymes. Oh, it did? It did, yeah. Oh, I didn't even know. <laughs> I didn't even know. No, but so. really, Leah? Whoa. <laughs> You have a really, really sweet voice. I didn't turn around because I seen those two. Uh, my advice, I think, if, if you're looking for, uh, you know, to be technically thought about through singing, I think Jesse might be the one. Um, but if you're looking for someone to work with, quirk, I think, I think Will's the guy. You know, I think. I do quirk. I think yeah, either, I, I'm genuinely, I'm split down yeah, the middle on this one. I really am. I'm split down the middle. I am so honoured that I just was a part of your journey. So, 
I'm just happy that you're on the show. Full stop. Um, I think you're very special and I would work hard for you. And I think you'd be an asset to not just my team, but this show. So congratulations. The obvious coach for you is Jessie. Why? So for me to... Com I'm talking to her. So for me to compete with the obvious, I have to work extra, extra hard. Yeah. Metaphor is this. Looks like a duck, quacks like a duck. It probably is a duck. So for me to hang out with the eagles, the duck that looks like a duck has to work extra hard. So I have to work extra hard for you. Because the obvious choice is, is Jesse. Is a duck. It's totally... <laughs> You don't get it. No, Jess. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was. A, it was. A, it oh, was, I wouldn't get it. it. I'm, 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 I'm. No one in the charts right now sounds like you. That's why we're doing this show, to find people that are brand new and deserve to be doing what they want to do as an artist. Here, here. You got. You got a big choice to make here, mm -hmm. then. I just really don't know. Can you say more things? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's give a show of hands. Let's give a right. show of hands. <laughs> All in favor, say aye. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'll leave it up to you. Um, oh my goodness. The, the hardest decision ever. <laughs> I do feel a little deflated right now that every single person that I've really, really, really wanted and rooted for that they've gone with Will or Danny or Tom. So a despondent Jessie takes stock as she's turned down by yet another girl. 